have here are two eyes that need makeup. Oh look, makeup. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Stephen Margus and I'm going to be doing the voiceover for my good friend Shishishina. I know back in the intro we saw that look that she had and that's the look that we're going for today. Right now she's applying product. I know earlier it looked like she was pointing the green, but it's probably one right next to it because I'm not seeing a whole lot of green. Back to your regular scheduled program. Looks like we're going back to a new color. Oh, got some hair stuck in there. Gonna have to fix that. But yeah, good times. Swabbing eyeballs. That's what I love to do with my morning. Swab, swab, swabby, swab, swab. And here we are getting back to the green. About time. Well, the green is such an odd color for makeup. Like, I wonder who the first person was this thing. You know what? I'm gonna put green on my face. I'm gonna make it look fabulous. For that matter, who was the first person that decided putting pigment on their face was a good idea? Apparently, it was the Egyptians. But wait, there's more. It's a brown color. It's cool. You can dig it. What color she's using or why? I really don't know. It was explained to me. It doesn't need to be. You know what's crazy? That you guys get to sit here and listen to me, your most gracious host, pretty much comment on her doing the exact same thing to her face for 14 and a half minutes. How does that make you feel? A warm and fuzzy inside? You like this tutorial? Take this color, put it on your face. You look pretty. No, but seriously, you have to give it to Shanna. She's an incredibly beautiful woman with mad skills. Look, she's going back to green. Darkening it up, it looks like. Added more pigment. <laughs> it's so weird. But then again, it's not my area of expertise. So, let's see how she does it. Back to the original color. But why? For what purpose? It looks like she's lining up under her eyebrows. All part of the optical illusion as well. Oh uh, yeah, good times. What she's doing now is applying some liquid concealer. That way, uh, it's just kind of a base coat. That way, like the brown and the green, like if she's putting another color on her eyelid, it doesn't muddy. Like the top will blend, but the lid will actually remain what color it's supposed to be, which is very cool. Just uh, yeah, paint the whole eye. And beat your eyeball with a brush. Sounds like fun. Going back to the colors, looks like a purple, a, a, oh, a two for one, very nice. Dab, dab, dabby, dab, dab. Mr. Spark, if you please take us to warp speed. She says, why is she always dancing? Who does she think she is? Well, of course, you have to get into what you're doing. You have to love what you do, otherwise you're not going to be able, be able to create amazing things like this. Still going with the purple. Uh, yeah, but this is where you actually see the look come to fruition or start to. It has a very, uh, you know, enchantress kind of look to it, which is very cool. Looks like she's put on some kind of. I actually don't know what that product is. It's, uh, kind of looks like a metallic overlay of some sort, which is cool. Again, the layering of product, just so you have the hint of that purple coming through. I think that's very cool. Looks like we're going with another green, kind of switching it up, has that more metallic look that the purple had. Going along the rim of her eye and yeah, kind of on the eyelid. That makes no sense. Ah, this process makes no sense to me. Which is more of an admission of my own ignorance rather than, oh, she doesn't know what she's doing. It's like, obviously she's a makeup artist. She knows what she's doing. Like, I'm a guy, right? I don't know what I'm doing. Which isn't to say that guys can't do makeup. I've seen some, especially like the hardcore rocker bands, they do some pretty kick-ass makeup. 
Well, yeah. Oh, blending. I knew this. She's blending. I think. <laughs> Again, I don't know. But yeah, I have to admit, with like the green and the brown, it looks really cool. Now I have no idea what she's doing. Is that more blending? Touch it on color? I don't know. But yeah, that shadow effect. Really digging it. I think she's got eyeliner here. Marking out her wing. See? Dana makeup artist. I know some stuff. Uh, yeah. Ugh. Doing that like on top of your eye. How do you people do that? That's crazy. I couldn't do that. I get frustrated. Be like, you know what? Clown face? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. I look of concentration though. Which I guess is probably a good thing considering you're putting stuff on your eye. Wait for it. Wait, tongue. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Yeah, just uh, still working on her wing. I guess it's a pretty important look. Part of the look. Bow before the power of the lashes. Oh, cosmic beauty. And this stuff. Provide a lift. Now, there are a multitude of things that I could say about a woman smearing something on her face. I don't particularly like that vulgar kind of humor. Besides, there's like so much of it in the beauty industry anyway. Although she is smiling. Obviously, she likes it. But yeah, good on you. Good for moisturizing, or revitalizing, and lifting. Good stuff. Thirsty work. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when you're epic, you get a couple of your name on it. Very cool. Back to work. Sparing more stuff on her face. Good times, good times. I'm sure this is to prepare for something. I think the point here is that if you look glamorous while putting on your makeup, you're doing it wrong. Looks like we got some foundations here. Not only foundations, but liquid foundation. Paint my face, paint my face. Which is literally, like, do you guys realize that? Like, foundation is literally nothing but painting your face. She's trying to explain that that's not all it is, but it's whatever. I actually don't know what she's saying. Something good to me though. That's my store and I'm sticking to it. We'll paint the face. Got some different shades here. Just kind of <laughs> doing the tippy tip of your nose. It's crazy. Does that make it like go in your nose? Beauty blender! I know that. Be be beauty blending. It's kind of weird they say like blending is your beat your face. I don't understand. When I beat people's faces, they just turn black and blue. Guess that just goes to you know your weapon of choice: beauty blender or axe. Now it looks like she's finally trying to get that hair out of her face. It's cool. Oh, what the blending fail. Did anyone else feel like they were in trouble? Yo, what is this? Hmm? <laughs> Looks like she's got some liquid concealer going under her eyes. Apparently they do that to lighten those areas. All part of the illusion. Well, make it. I, do they consider it an illusion? I don't know. Makeup stuff is not my shtick as it were. It's a hell of a beat though. Like, I guess if you're going to work to something, might as well have a good beat to it. I prefer more electric guitars myself, but that's just me. And back to the beauty blender for some blending. Well, I say, Tom, that blending action is absolutely fantastic. I don't care! Apparently, Tom isn't feeling social today. More blending, and even more blending. You realize we're not even to 10 minutes yet. You, you guys hanging in there? I'm about to go get some drink. This is crazy. Oh, looks like she's doing some powder now. After everything that you just went through to put foundation on, you're putting powder. How, do you, how are you not coughing? I would be sneezing up a storm. Powder all over my face. 
now we got some highlight. Can you tell she likes it? Because it's literally gone. I know. All ladies out there just told it's gone to her. Fine, cool. That stuff. Still, you have to, like, she likes it. It's gone. That was the point. Stop messing me up. Doing the other side. This is like the most epic face I think I've ever seen. In fact, that should be your thumbnail. Just doing the nose. Again. Powder stuff. Tippy tip. Is this highlight? It's lighter. You would think this is highlight. I don't know. She don't know. Reverse thumbnail. Hmm. Chin. Lips. I'm guessing she's blending it in or together. I don't, I don't know the right terminology. Just all over the face, all over the face. <laughs> that is what he said. Okay, last one. I'm sorry. Doing the neck. More dancing. You gotta get into what you're doing. Got some blush here. Oh yeah, that's right. I know what that is. See that look she gave me? I got this. Looking good, looking good. Of course, you know, I don't need no brush to make my girl blush. <laughs> I'm just, okay, that was my last one. It was the last one. No idea what that is. It looks glittery. I can't read what that is. Something for L'Oreal. Cool. Let's do it. Oh, setting spray. Got it. See? Got this. I don't... Was that setting spray? I don't know. It's whatever. That looks like highlight. Cool. This is highlight. Forget what I said earlier. This is highlight. More on the nose. What's with the nose? Why is the nose... I guess it would be an important feature. It's kind of the center of your face and whatnot. Is she highlighting like around her tear duct? That's weird. Uh, her, her! This is literally torture. Like, I'm pretty sure they did this in the Middle Ages just to break people and have them betray their countries. Like, ugh. How can you do that? Like, literally coloring your lower eyelid by your. If I did that, I probably wouldn't have eyes anymore. Got some lip lining going on, I think. I'm not gonna say anything bad, because like all women do this, but does that not look like a clown face? Or like the start of the clown face? Good times, good times. She does pull off like the darker lip colors very well. Coloring it in. Ultra glossy. Yeah, smear that on your lip and rub it in. <laughs> so I think we're actually approaching the holy crap, 1352. This is awesome. Look at this. We're almost done. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. The last finishing touches on. Rub that in. Bathroom it. Looks pretty good. Yeah, she knew she did a good job. Now this is setting spray, right? Keep everything intact. Turn with the other stuff on. All done. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And hey, don't forget to put a smile on your face. It's truly the best makeup you can wear.